Skay here and welcome back to the quarry. Um, so last we left off, uh, Jacob died, so that was sad. Um, but we're running through the Hackett residence after Laura shot that chick's face off. So okay, we have the sun and death. We've explored everywhere around the camp. Hackett Scrap, another successful family enterprise, Hackett Scrap is situated just away from the summer camp. The proceeds from this lucrative scrapyard, along with your fees, allow us to keep the camp running to such a high standard on an annual basis. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we got some new clues. What? Spoils of Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. That could be. That could be. Above the law. Okay, so Laura was honest with the cop. Uh, Laura didn't try to take Travis's gun. Laura used the syringe on Travis during her and Max's escape. Laura shot Constance in the head. Laura did not attack Jebediah. Jedediah? I thought it was Jebediah. Yeah, I didn't think it was really necessary. Like, I thought that was kind of, kind of overboard. Right, Jacob remained in the basement. All the cage doors opened when Laura blew, broke the fuse box. The werewolf killed Jacob in the basement. Sorry, Jacob. A pound of flesh. Ryan chose not to remove the knife from his stab wound. Ryan removed the knife from his wound and stabbed Bobby. Okay, so I think we made the right decision there. I'm happy about that. All right, let's jump back in. Leave me alone. <gasps> Ow, it really hurts. Dad! <sighs> <sighs> You know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan! Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting. Where's Max? How are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then- Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's and your friend's too. Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. 
So we doing this or no? I say fuck it, let's do it. Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Well, hopefully that was a good idea. I just, I don't want to let Ryan die, man. Hackett's Scrapyard, back is Dylan. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I have no idea what we're looking for. I know nothing about cars. So, I don't know what anything looks like. I don't know what anything is. Excuse me, Caitlin. But yeah, so how are you guys? How's life? How are things? Uh, things are good here. As of recording, um, we're, we're moving Airbnbs tomorrow, or tomorrow and Tuesday. Or I guess I should say tomorrow and the day after. So yeah, that's a thing. It's been fun here. I've really liked it. I've enjoyed it. But unfortunately, I still have not found an apartment and they had people booked so I was like well looks like I gotta do a good old switcheroo hmm. Yes, we are. A documentary and a video game. It's over here before we before we carry on. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Want to make sure I pick up all the taros. Cuz here I thought there were only like two per chapter. Turns out you can get 3. No. Oh. Yeah, these lights can suck it. Quite honestly. Come on, there's gotta be something over here. There's gotta be. Oh, wait, was this just, oh. Oh shit, maybe I should look the other way first, damn it. <laughs> I thought the other way was the way we were supposed to go. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, what are you guys up to today? Stressing me out. 
Okay, because that looks like a different way to go. So now I'm just getting anxiety. I'm like, there's too many options. I don't know what's happening. And there's another way to go. Oh, this is overwhelming. This is like sensory overload, but with options. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go this way and stick with it. So hopefully I haven't missed anything. I hope not. That's why I don't really, I don't like when there are junkyards in games because it's just, it's too vast. And I don't know if I've missed something. I don't know if I'm like just going in circles, you know? I just like to know where I am at all times. Jesus, stompy stompy Dylan, damn. Okay, this seems like a good way to go though. Oh. I really wish they would stop that. Okay, what's this away? Y'all, it's so funny. I, uh, on Snapchat, oh, what's this? Discarded signage. What's this? Aram Scarum. See this, Caitlin? Okay. All right. Um, on Snapchat, I told people that I would send them a titty pic if they listened to my new song. Uh, Nobody better the Dimas remix it's on streaming. Go check it out, especially if you're into like EDM or trap. Uh, it's such a good remix. It's so good. I think, honestly, I love it just as much as, like, the original song. But anyway, but honestly, that was the most effective promotion I think I've ever done. So I think from now on, whenever I release new music, it's like, whoever listens to it gets titty pics. Because apparently that works. I mean, it was flattering. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It was just funny because I'm still getting messages, like, deal. And I mean, thankfully I've got cute titties, so that helps. Nobody's had an adverse reaction to them, so I'm happy. But yeah, what would you guys do? If, if you're a musician and you, you like to promote, how do you do it? Because I have to say, this, this method isn't too, isn't too bad. It's free and it works. <laughs> I'll find out how effective it was in a couple months. Okay. Okay. Guess there's nothing over here. Sorry, Caitlin. I'm leading you on a wild goose chase. But yeah, it's really funny. Uh, Spotify gave me an artist uh, radio finally. So, like, you know, if you like my music, you can listen to the Alex Risque radio and. It'll play songs that like are in the same genre and vein as mine. Ooh. But uh, I listened to it and oh my god, there are some fucking bops on there. I was like, okay, Spotify. Like I was already sold when I saw the Lady Gaga was on there. I was like, okay, you guys think that my music's on the same par as Gog's? I'll, I'm happy to take that. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Oh, 
Honestly, I think their friendship is like my favorite thing about this game. Like, I want to be friends with them. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Okay, I'm gonna pay super close attention because right. I'm sure this is probably full of quick time events and I don't want him to die. Or her to die, for that matter. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away with you. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, we're here, it's okay, we're fine, it's good, it's, it's, it's gravy, it's great, it's fantastic. Fucking die, you piece of shit. Alright. Boom, bitch. Y'all don't touch my Dylan. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Don't worry, Caitlin. You can count on me. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. My vote's on Dylan's Sprouse to play him in the movie, which would be perfect since his name's already Dylan and he's worked with Brenda Song before. Works out perfectly. But okay, I kept my faves alive. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Everybody else can die. I really don't care. I just want to keep those three alive. 
Oh, well, that was exhausting. Jesus. Is that it? We get more? Hello? There we go. Cory Lodge Storm Shelter. All right, what's well, gonna be a little short, but on that note, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.